Officials in Massachusetts believe there's been another tragic, deadly case of cyberbullying. A 15-year-old girl committed suicide, and it appears that she was being bullied online. CBS News correspondent Whit Johnson is in South Hadley, Massachusetts, with the story. Good morning, Whit. Maggie, good morning. 15-year-old Phoebe Prince moved here from Ireland. She began attending South Hadley High School last fall. She was trying to adjust to a new life in a new town, a new country, when she fell victim to a growing trend. Phoebe Prince appeared to be well-adjusted and happy, but underneath, friends say the 15-year-old freshman was tormented, a victim of cyberbullying. She was being bullied because she was pretty and people were just jealous. Phoebe's classmate, who does not want to be identified, says he was one of her closest friends, but she never revealed her pain. They called her an Irish slut and a whore. According to a letter from Phoebe's high school principal, what began as mean-spirited comments at school soon found their way online, something experts say can be far more dangerous. Cyberbullying can be so dangerous because it leads to cyber mobbing, where kids can get together and attack another child 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Phoebe was found dead in her South Hadley home days before a big school dance. The night after she died, fellow students held a candlelight vigil. This isn't the first time cyberbullying ended in death. In 2006, 13-year-old Megan Meyer killed herself after being harassed on MySpace by a neighbor's mother posing as a teenage boy. The anonymity of the internet, experts say, means that parents should be even more vigilant. And as a parent, the concern has to be that we're monitoring and supervising and we're really knowing what they're doing in the virtual world. It just makes me sad how it takes the life of a young teenager who had everything going for her to, uh, to bring the community to realize how bad bullying is. School officials say the incident is under investigation and some students have already been disciplined. Meanwhile, Phoebe's family has flown her body back to Ireland to be laid to rest. Maggie. Whit Johnson in South Hadley, Massachusetts. Thank you, Whit.